In mathematics, a limit is the value that a function or sequence approaches as the input or index approaches some value. Limits are essential to calculus and mathematical analysis in general and are used to define continuity, derivatives, and integrals. The concept of a limit of a sequence is further generalized to the concept of a limit of a topological net, and is closely related to limit and direct limit in category theory. In formulas, a limit of a function is usually written as lim x c f x equals l display style lim underscore x to c f x equals l and as read as the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals l the fact that a function f approaches the limit l as x approaches c is sometimes denoted by a right arrow, as in f x l as x c. Display style f x to l text as x to c. Topic limit of a function Suppose f is a real valued function and c is a real number. Intuitively speaking, the expression lim x c f x equals l displaystyle lim underscore x to c f x equals l means that f x can be made to be as close to l as desired by making x sufficiently close to c. In that case, the above equation can be read as the limit of f of x, as x approaches c, is l. Augustin Louis Cauchy in 1821, followed by Karl Weierstrass, formalized the definition of the limit of a function which became known as the epsilon /delta definition of limit. The definition uses epsilon, the lowercase Greek letter epsilon, to represent any small positive number, so that f(x) becomes arbitrarily close to l, means that f(x) eventually lies in the interval l minus epsilon, l plus epsilon, which can also be written using the absolute value sign as f(x) minus l. As x approaches c, then indicates that we refer to values of x whose distance from from c is less than some positive number delta, the lower case Greek letter delta, that is, values of x within either c minus delta, c or c, c plus delta, which can be expressed with zero. For example, if f x equals x two minus one x minus one, display style f x equals frac x caret two minus one x one, then f one is not defined. C division by zero, yet as x moves arbitrarily close to one, f x correspondingly approaches two. Thus, f x can be made arbitrarily close to the limit of two just by making x sufficiently close to one. In other words, lim x one x two minus one x minus one equals two display style lim underscore x to one frac x caret two minus one x one equals two. This can also be calculated algebraically as x two minus one x minus one equals x plus one x minus one x minus one equals x plus one 
Display style FRAC x carrot two minus one x one equals FRAC x plus one x one x one equals x plus one for all real numbers x does not equal one. Now since x plus 1 is continuous in x at 1, we can now plug in 1 for x, thus lim x 1 x 2 minus 1 x minus 1 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2 display style lim underscore x to 1 frac x caret 2 minus 1 x 1 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2 in addition to limits at finite values functions can also have limits at infinity for example consider f x equals 2 x minus 1 x display style f x equals 2 by minus 1 over x f 100 equals 1.9900 f 1000 equals 1.9990 F ten thousand equals one point nine 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 zero as x becomes extremely large, the value of f x approaches two, and the value of f x can be made as close to two as one could wish just by picking x sufficiently large. In this case, the limit of f x as x approaches infinity is two. In mathematical notation, lim x infinity 2 x minus 1 x equals 2 display style lim underscore x to nft frac 2 by minus 1 x equals 2 Topic limit of a sequence Consider the following sequence, 1.79, 1.7991.7999. It can be observed that the numbers are approaching 1.8, the limit of the sequence. Formally, suppose A1, A2, is a sequence of real numbers. It can be stated that the real number L is the limit of this sequence, namely, lim n infinity a n equals L display style lim underscore n to n a t a underscore n equals L, which is read as the limit of n as n approaches infinity equals L to mean for every real number epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number n such that for all n greater than n, we have n minus L, the limit of a sequence and the limit of a function are closely related. On one hand, the limit as n goes to infinity of a sequence a n is simply the limit at infinity of a function defined on the natural numbers n. On the other hand, a limit L of a function f x as x goes to infinity, if it exists, is the same as the limit of any arbitrary sequence and that approaches L, and where an is never equal to L1 such sequence would be L plus 1, n. <laughs> limit as standard part In non-standard analysis, which involves a hyperreal enlargement of the number system, the limit of a sequence a n display style a underscore n can be expressed as the standard part of the value a h display style a underscore h of the natural extension of the sequence at an infinite hypernatural index n equals h, thus lim 
n infinity a north equals street a h display style lim underscore n to n a t a underscore north equals operator name street a underscore h here the standard part function street rounds off each finite hyperreal number to the nearest real number the difference between them is infinitesimal, this formalizes the natural intuition that for very large values of the index, the terms in the sequence are very close to the limit value of the sequence. Conversely, the standard part of a hyperreal a equals a n display style a equals a underscore n represented in the ultrapower construction by a cauchy sequence a n display style a underscore n is simply the limit of that sequence street a equals lim n infinity a north display style operator name street a equals lim underscore n to n a t a underscore n in this sense taking the limit and taking the standard part are equivalent procedures topic Convergence and fixed point A formal definition of convergence can be stated as follows. Suppose P N Display style P underscore N as N Display style N goes from zero Display style zero to infinity. Display style in a t is a sequence that converges to p. Display style p with p n does not equal p. Display style p underscore n n e q p for all n display style n if positive constants lambda display style lambda and alpha display style alpha exist with lim n infinity p n plus 1 minus p p n minus p alpha equals lambda Display style lim underscore n right arrow in a t frac left p underscore n plus one p right left p underscore n p right caret alpha equals lambda. Then p n display style p underscore n as n display style n goes from 0 display style 0 to infinity display style n a t converges to p display style p of order alpha display style alpha with asymptotic error constant lambda display style lambda given a function f display style f 
with a fixed point p display style p there is a nice checklist for checking the convergence of the sequence p n display style p underscore n 1 first check that p is indeed a fixed point f p equals p display style f p equals p 2 check for linear convergence start by finding f p display style left f caret prime p right if point 3 if it is found that there is something better than linear the expression should be checked for quadratic convergence start by finding f p display style left f caret prime prime p right if topic computability of the limit limits can be difficult to compute there exists limit expressions whose modulus of convergence is undecidable in recursion theory the limit lemma proves that it is possible to encode undecidable problems using limits topic in topology topic in spaces without a metric limits of sequences can be defined in arbitrary topological spaces even if the spaces are not metric spaces in an arbitrary topological space x display style x a point z element of x display style z in x is called a limit of the sequence a 1 a 2 display style a underscore 1 a underscore 2 l dots of points in X display style X if for every open set containing Z display style Z there exists an index n display style n such that if n greater than n display style n greater than n then a n display style underscore n is contained in that open set in general topological spaces unlike for the case of real numbers above sequences can have more than one limit topic <laughs> nets and filters Sequences in topological spaces can be generalized to the concepts of nets, along with a corresponding notion of a limit. A related notion, that of filters on topological spaces, also can have limits defined for them. See also Rate of convergence, the rate at which a convergent sequence approaches its limit Cauchy sequence Complete metric space Limit of a function One-sided limit, either of the two limits of functions of a real variable x, as x approaches a point from above or below List of limits, list of limits for common functions Squeeze theorem – finds a limit of a function via comparison with two other functions Modes of convergence An annotated index 
convergence of random variables Banach limit defined on the Banach space that extends the usual limits Limit in category theory Direct limit Inverse limit Asymptotic analysis, a method of describing limiting behavior Big O notation, used to describe the limiting behavior of a function when the argument tends towards a particular value or infinity Convergent matrix Topic Notes Topic External Links Weistein, Eric W. Limit Mathworld Mathwords, Limit